Bula, Malale, Talopa, and welcome to Season 6, Episode 11 of Breakfast Bites by TevoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a beautiful, bright, sunny, and warm Tuesday morning, 11 July, 2023. Coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby... Legendary All Black centre Ma'anonu starred, but flying Fijian wing Bolam Balekana scored his 14th try of 2023 for the New England Free Jacks, who were crowned champions of Major League Rugby for the first time after beating the San Diego Legion 25-24 in a hotly contested MLR championship final in Chicago, Illinois last Saturday. And in Rugby League, while the Queensland Maroons go in search of the first clean sweep since 2010 at Accor Stadium in Sydney tomorrow night, the New South Wales Blues will look to repeat what they did in 1984, 2007, 2009 and 2016 by winning Origin 3 to avoid the embarrassing shame of a 3-0 whitewash. In Sports Biz... A U.S. Senate hearing today will examine the PGA Tour-PIF partnership. However, neither PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monaghan nor Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund Governor Yasir al yumayan will be in Washington, D.C. to testify. According to the New York Times, Monaghan would have considered testifying if the Senate agreed to postpone the hearing, but the committee declined. In announcing his return, Monaghan provided no more details on what initially caused him to step away on 13 June, only that his health had improved dramatically. And at Wimbledon, Belarusian Victoria Azarenka blamed drunk fans in the Wimbledon crowd after she was loudly booed off court following her defeat to Ukraine's Elina Svitolina in what was the first match between a Ukrainian player and a Russian or Belarusian at this year's tournament. Players from Russia and Belarus were banned by Wimbledon last year following the invasion of Ukraine, but they have been allowed to compete as neutral athletes this year. And in combat sports, South African brawler Drissus Duplessis stunned Australian Rob Whitaker to set up a title shot at UFC middleweight Kiwi Nigerian King Israel Adesanya in the main event at UFC 293 in Sydney in a couple of months. Duplessis has now won eight straight after scoring a second round TKO win over Whitaker, who was rocked by a straight right hand before finished off by a series of brutal shots in Vegas on Sunday. And at the Tour de France, Canadian Michael Woods claimed a breakaway victory on stage nine of the Tour de France as Tadej uh, Pogacar took more time out of race leader Jonas Vinegard. Woods made up around two minutes on American Matteo Jorgensen on the steep final section of the Pied de Dome, 182.5 kilometers after leaving St. Leonard de Noblat. Two time winner Tadej uh, Podga. Pogacar, sorry, his late attack saw him make up eight seconds on Jonas Winnegard, both more than eight minutes behind the 36-year-old Woods. The Slovenian now sits just 17 seconds behind his main rival for the coveted yellow jersey. And finally, the NBA is in- introducing a new in-season tournament in November, involving a group stage of 16 groups, Six five-team groups with the six group winners and two wild cards advancing to an eight-team knockout stage in early December and a final four event set for Las Vegas, completing, competing for the new NBA Cup. To spice it all up, players will uh, compete for a prize pool of U.S. $18 million, with championship team players receiving U.S. $500,000 each and payouts for players on teams losing in earlier rounds getting U.S. $200,000, U.S. $100,000, and U.S. $50,000 respectively in cold, hard cash to splash on the casinos. And that's a wrap. For TableWorldSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir.
please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.